So we're here to celebrate National Chemistry, and it always has, as part of the date, October 23rd, because 10 to the 23rd is a very important number for, for chemists. 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd refers to a mole of things, and so National Chemistry Week always includes Mole Day. But this year, the theme is Solving Mysteries Through Chemistry, uh, which is kind of cool. About 35 years ago, a physicist here by the name of Roland Menzel um, realized that there were more efficient ways to try to find fingerprints than the, just dusting for prints and things like that. But he developed some luminescent techniques to look at fingerprints. So for example, if you look at this glass container here, this might be something you'd see at a typical crime scene. You, you would see, except for some dust up here which has no relevance to our story at all, if you look down here, you'll see that there really aren't any fingerprints down there. It looks like just an ordinary clean glass surface. However, um, if you expose those fingerprints to some fluorescent compounds, so you'll notice that under black light, it's very clear where the fingerprints are here. And so this use of fluorescence detection of fingerprints is something that was really strongly developed here at Texas Tech through Roland Menzel's lab. This is a liquid that contains uh, a base, um, so essentially at the concentration of, say, Drano. Um, and it has, it's purple because we have an indicator that changes to the color purple in the presence of an acid or a base. Well, in this case, in the case of a base. So let me add some dry ice here and we'll see what happens. So you can see it's foaming up. And I'll add a little bit more. So now we have the mad scientist. You can see the color is beginning to change. Now we have essentially a neutral solution, and then very quickly it becomes yellow and acidic. So, and you can see here, it looks like it's boiling, but it's not. This is just, once again, water vapor and carbon dioxide mixed together. So the reaction we'll be performing is uh, called alpha toothpaste. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, Mr. Bubble, bubble soap, and we're going to put that into the graduated cylinder. And what we're going to try and perform is a uh, oxidation reaction. So uh, in the white container and the dark container, and with the soap, and the color that we're adding is going to make the reaction uh, look a lot more colorful. And now we've made our altitude paste. So this next demonstration we're going to do indicates a fundamental chemical principle, and that is that finely divided solids or dust, uh, very, very small particles, react faster than larger particles. So to demonstrate that principle, I have here uh, a tube that has a candle sitting on the bottom of it, and I'm going to just put some very, very finely divided, very, very fine powder, I'll just show you how fine it is here, uh, over the top. So we'll see what happens. So you see it reacts very quickly uh, to flame. 